Hello guys, uh, welcome to my new version of Just Boon 264. As you can see, it is fantastic. The Eye Candy Paradise. I got a lot of surprises and treats for you guys on this OS. Uh, hope you guys like it. I'm just going to show you what this OS is capable of doing. Um, added a lot of new cool little uh, icons. Uh, a conky app, which I'll show you guys how to load up these conkeys and everything like that. Very, very cool. Uh, let's go through a couple apps that I have here under accessories. Uh, just utility files, gnome pie. Obviously, guys, I've been adding this for a lot of stuff, a lot of, for some time now. In some of the apps, you can open up your apps right here. A lot of cool stuff. I'll go and put your software center systems. Just gives you an idea how to do that. There you go. You just press Control, Alternative, and uh, the Shift key, and you'll be able to open that up. So it's very, very cool. Um, as you can see, it just gives you how to open up all these bars. So and you could customize it on general settings, which is pretty cool. Quite been using it, quite like it. So there you guys go. Um, let's see what else I have here. Um, I have this new app that just came out recently. Um, I saw this on the forums, uh, which is pretty good on OMG and uh, Noobs Lab, so we'll see what it does. It's the Ubuntu clock. As you can see, you can change the settings around, uh, change it to black, press OK. Pretty, pretty nice clock, so if you guys uh, want to theme up your uh, desktop environment with a nice clock, uh, the new Ubuntu phone clock, that's fantastic. So. That's a great little app there. Uh, let's have a look at what else we have. Uh, Light Read that reads uh, all your uh, applications, your RSS applications. So Wallinch, uh, this is Wallinch. Obviously, if you use my distros, this will give you all uh, the wallpaper, changing all your wallpapers, etc. So good stuff. Um, let's go games. Just put me in my shadow. That's a pretty cool game. I'm not into games too much, but I have played that game. Graphics stuff. Um, obviously, I didn't add Blender on mine, but I added it because I did some video. Uh, cover scene. Uh, that uh, batch image converter. Uh, GIMP, obviously. Libra Draw. All your other basic stuff. On internet, uh, Clip Grab. This is a fantastic little app that I have. Um, basically, downloads your YouTube videos, changes them to. Uh, It'll change them to uh, MP3s, different all different types of formats. Works fantastic as well. So that's why I put these apps because I I use them a lot, and I hope you guys could use them. Uh, Chrome, obviously, Mumble. That's preset to uh, OLC, which is a Linux room. All we do is talk about Linux. You could find me there and other great guys. Uh, Qubit Torrent. That's uh, my favorite uh, torrent file manager. Um, screen cloud I love screen cloud um, I use it all the time I'll show you how to use that that's that little icon that you'll see up here um, this lets you just take a snapshot of your uh, desktop environment which is doing right now as you can see you could save it on a online bash or you could save it on your uh, on your file manager on your own desktop which I'll show you I did set up something for you guys here uh, we'll go to home there and you'll see screenshots on this and here's some of the screenshots that I've taken and just if you want to put them on forums or, or uh, Google G or something like that Google Plus uh, um, you could definitely just upload them very quickly and that's what I use it for most of the time um, or where are we on internet um, screen cloud obviously Skype it's a 64-bit I did get it to work on uh, Skype 64 so that does work uh, Team Viewer 8, which is the beta, uh, which works fantastic. Uh, I just put the newest and greatest one. Um, what else have I have? Office, just your regular standard Office stuff, pretty much. Other, oh, you guys are gonna love this. Um, I've added Conkilla. Let's have a look at what this does. All right, I got something for all you Windows 8 lovers. So if you guys are into Windows 8 like looks and your tiles and stuff, I could change that right away for you so let's see what this little app does it lets you easily change your comp keys without trying to do all these commands putting files everywhere this is a fantastic little app that I got so 
Um, I didn't make it. I just found it on uh, gnomeluck.org or something like that, and it works fantastic. Let's you change your conky on this, and let me just show you. There's lots of conkies here, so here we go. We'll just go to, uh, for instance, say gold. Not all of them work. I would say 90% of the, uh, the conky apps on this do work, so it's just very, very cool stuff. We'll go back in there and just that's how easy it is to change them. Let's go pop up and see what that does. There it gives you the specs. We'll leave it at that for now. So that's exactly what it does for you. It just changes your Conky applications right away very quickly. Let's go to other again. Live wallpaper. This is preset for you guys. Let me show you what this does now. I got it all preset, pre-configured for you guys. So we go to photo side. Make sure you uh, you press live wallpaper on to see if it works. We'll set that. We press this button here. There you go. You got wallpapers. It shifts your wallpapers around, give you some compass effects, and show you what SOS can do. So generally, this just gives you all your wallpapers stored. I have these already stored. I'll show you where I have these stored on this OS if you guys want to change them or add to them. But that's cool. It just shows you your, your wallpaper is pre-configured and kind of gives you a slideshow. If you guys don't like that, you guys can go to your Nexus uh, Nexus theme. There you go. We got a Nexus theme, so you can configure this. I pretty much left that standard. Just changed the, the wallpaper on that. So uh, that's that. Uh, let's go to noise. This one I kind of actually like. It is pretty cool. Uh, just kind of uh, nice, dreamy live wallpaper. Uh, if you leave your desktop running in the office, you could have people check it out wondering what the hell is going on with your computer, but it's pretty cool. Um, works fantastic. And obviously, the li live galaxy, which I have it preset with a custom wallpaper, the settings, and everything like that. I make this OS to make it as simple as possible for someone that's coming into uh, Linux that doesn't know and wants all the eye candy effects uh, as easy as possible. Uh, let's go to what else will we have another. Uh, that's alright, I won't go into the other stuff. Uh, cheese, obviously, uh, multimedia converter, handbrake. This will uh, rip your uh, DVDs and uh, put them into MK MKV file or MP4 file, Kazam, which is the newest Kazam that I put, the beta one, which works great, open shot, uh, SM player, uh, SMP player, YouTube browser. This actually is pretty cool. If you guys want to do something like this, you just go to Lincoln Park. Oh, this. And basically, just opens up the, the video instead of searching for it on YouTube and without commercials and everything like that so that's exactly what it does for you just giving you an example of what I do with that so that's what I use it for to look up videos really quickly instead of going on YouTube itself so that's the purpose of that uh, VLC sound recorder sound converter uh, system settings uh, bit bleach Cairo obviously which is the dock here I'll show you guys how to configure that uh, Cairo um, this uh, uses manager. This shows you how much disk space you have, etc. So uh, let's go and see what else we have here. Uh, PZIP. This is a file manager. Your 7-zip uh, TRG Z uh, files. You can zip those up. Uh, Superboot. Uh, this helps you uh, pre-configure the Plymouth, uh, Plymouth uh, splash screen. So. Uh, if you guys don't know what to do with that, probably I wouldn't recommend you guys to configure with that. Um, Ubuntu, obviously, if you get another disk on ISO, that'll put it on a USB and you're able to boot up from it. Um, and then uh, Gpart, it Grub Customizer. I'll just show you what to do with this really quick. This is pretty easy with the Grub Customizer. You put your uh, password in there, which you guys probably already know already. Um, let me show you this. That's the begin that Okay. The Grub Customizer. If you say you have your uh, dual booting with Windows or something like that. I have the Dark Vader theme. That Dark Vader theme that you see, it, that's I custom put that for you. If you guys want to change that to another wallpaper that you guys have and you don't like that or change it to whatever you want, go to right here. 
and go to your wallpapers but make sure I've had problems you have to make sure that the file is a PNG file a ping file for the wallpaper you can change it very easily once you change it you'll see it on the screen right here just press save and start and reboot your uh, reboot your uh, your system and you'll be able to uh, see the file there which is very easily to use just make sure it's a ping not a JPEG file for some reason this doesn't like JPEG files but either way um, I can still make it work with a ping file so there's that for you guys and let's see what else you, we have here. Uh, Remaster Sys. If you like, if you want to change things on this and make uh, your own disc, you could definitely make it. But that's uh, something else. If you guys don't want to get very technical with it, don't worry about that. Your update manager, um, pretty much, pretty much, um, that's about it. There with uh, my system and apps and stuff. Let me just show you a couple things. Uh, for instance, here, you got your uh, Cairo here. I'll show you how to tweak some things around on this. Um, Pre-configuration, say you don't like the colors of these themes, we could change them around very easily. Go to Appearance, Icons, and we could change them to blue. Let's see what happens. See that, how easy it is? Let's change them to this blue. This is nice blue. I've used this for my default one. Very nice, clean, simple one. Changes your icons. You can change a lot of things. You can change your themes. Um, you can change, uh, let's have a look, configuration, behavior. Let's have a look. I could change quite a bit. I have left the fire there for you. You could change it to something else. Fireworks, let's put, apply that. You see that? You can get fireworks there. You do a lot of cool stuff, but it's up to you, whatever you like to do. I'll put it back to what I had it. Um, icons animation and effects you go wobbly bounce you do a lot of stuff there so have a play with that you can't really mess up too much there um, very cool stuff so we'll leave it at that um, let's go to wall inch like I said actually I've loaded up quite a few wallpapers and stuff like that this is one of the cool wallpapers that I have on there which is fantastic it's a cool very nice clean Everybody kind of likes this wallpaper. Obviously, I find my wallpapers online. I go through all these uh, wallpaper websites and find everything. So, very, very, very cool. Um, let me just show you one more thing before I let you guys go. I have GNOME Tweak and Ubuntu Tweak. And uh, I'm just going to show you what I have on this uh, system. I'm going to show you tweaks for themes and stuff like that. Um, your G uh, GTK themes, tons of them as you can see. Change them around, you can do a lot of stuff here. Change them around to whatever you like them. A lot of cool stuff. I'm going to show you some other cool stuff right now here. Uh, let's go here. Let me open this. And you could change your wallpapers. For instance, say you want your theme out the whole system to this. You could easily do that and I'll show you how to do it icon themes here you go right here uh, let's find these themes as you can see a lot of themes here there you are you're all themed out which those are pretty cool themes but I don't say so myself um, let's see what else I have here that are pretty cool um, these are pretty cool. I use this on Australia's. Those are pretty cool themes there. Um, if you want to go for a dark theme and stuff like that, they go for a dark, uh, dark theme there. If you want something brighter. There you are. And those are pretty cool themes as well too. I use this for you. These are my Unity dark themes that I use, which were fantastic. Um, your window theme right here. This is your window theme. I'll show you how easy it is to change that. Let me just use one which I use a couple of times. That's a pretty nice one. You can change it to that. Your window theme. It just changes the window theme up here, which is cool. The GTK theme changes the inside of it and the outside. So you can do a lot of cool stuff. 
just wanted to show you a couple of that stuff and see how loaded this OS and now you know why I have a file of 2.7 gigabytes and let me just show you a couple things obviously you have all this stuff open um, I'll just show you you got compits obviously pre-configured um, if you press control and tab you get that screen just hold control down and press tab a couple times and you'll be able to move your windows like that that's on the comp is. Um, if you press the super key or the window key and press control you'll be able to do that so if you download that those are some cool little features I've added that you could play with do cool stuff with it's good stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed it probably took up a lot of your time today but it's all good thanks guys